Welcome Capricorn to your love reading for September 24th to the 30th of 2018. So this will be a uh, 10 card Celtic cross breath for you. I'm going to shuffle a bit and then I'm going to lay them out, pause, and then I'll come right back to you. Alright, just the way I wanted to do it this week. Alright, Capricorn, September 24th to the 30th of 2018. Seven balls here. So Capricorn, we're going to look into your uh, reading here. So uh, I do feel that many of you may have you may have gone through some um, intense issues with somebody. Now this could have been last week and maybe throughout the weekend, um, but there might be an issue where a lot of you are, are either waiting for an apology or you're waiting. Someone might be waiting on you to open up and express something so that you can kind of move on and let go of some kind of a confrontation or. Uh, conflict verbally or physically um, emotionally as well where you may have been drained so I feel like this week is um, you might just kind of uh, focus on the home environment you might be focusing on career as well as you kind of wait for something to become better or become clearer between you and somebody else so I feel like there may have been like waiting you've been waiting for something to get better and for someone to either open up or for you to realize that someone is either not going to make a change or they're going to make a change to come back around to you or open up to you in some way so I feel there is a, a an energy where some of you are just um, kind of being held back energetically from opening up to somebody yes someone wants to work with you someone wants to potentially um, either move in together um, when it comes to the home environment but it seems like you're either pushing for this other person to come towards you and someone else is doing that as well so you are either a competing person in a scenario or someone else is competing for your love interest and I feel like you know about these things but you don't really address it or you don't bring up that topic and you're not really sure if you want to commit to somebody because you feel like all right well if um you're the third person or somebody else competing for you then just let them have that person or let them go ahead and move forward with it because i feel like it brings out a lot of anxiety and confusion within you and you're not really sure what to do so for some of you i feel like you're um that particular person might be trying to start a new beginning with you but you don't really trust them um, I get a sense of in some way so I feel like part of what needs to happen is for you to focus on what you actually want right now try to take time to focus on you to figure out whether or not you're gonna want to communicate and open up I feel like this week that you might not do so um, because you might be around someone who is purposely not wanting to talk not wanting to even if you're around them at a party friends whatever socializing whatever it might be they might not be communicating to you to give you clarity on where you stand with them and i feel like they're either they might give you something but they don't speak or communicate they might make a gesture in some way um either text you or something but they don't respond or something like that might be going on in a situation and i feel like what needs to happen is for you right now to focus more on yourself all right um because you might not be ready if you're not certain about someone else's intentions and what they might be doing I feel like part of it if you want someone to come your way and they're not opening up or expressing themselves then a lot of you are just trying to take your time to um, to figure this thing out I feel so there might be some issues and if you feel like someone is not telling the truth and not being honest um, I feel like you have to uh, do your best to pull your energy back and you have let go of control issues it says allow the situation to unfold naturally and we do have it's safe for you to love it says go ahead and well no um open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so go ahead and make the romantic gesture with something in my mind so for some of you you might not be certain that you want to open up to somebody to communicate um because they're not doing that with you right now so um you feel like they might just be kind of you know um being a bit naive or not really taking you seriously taking you for granted um, and that could be an issue so I feel like some of you might be even in a marriage or relationship where you want to move on from it but you're not sure or certain because you're not sure if that person the newer person's in agenda or their intentions so um, that might definitely be an issue for some of you out there so it's pretty much you oriented right now whoever you might be around whoever you might that might reach out to you 
then that's the energy that you have to kind of uh, go with right now and not force yourself into a situation that's not really healthy so um, i do feel like someone is around you who is they might be taking advantage of the fact that you aren't certain or that you don't feel like you are in a position to communicate your needs right now so just be uh, mindful about that so until things are clear right now i feel like the emphasis is going to be really on you uh, right now so that's going to be your reading for the week um lots of love to you lots of light tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychiclubhills.com to schedule something for you all right have a good one